What's the first thing you think of when you hear the words jury duty? Is it finding an excuse not to serve? Or the inconvenience to your schedule? It's the time you have to take off work. I don't really have time for it. Do I have time for this? It's time to take a fresh look at jury service. Not as a duty, but as a privilege. And see why there's no justice without you. I tell prospective jurors that 12 of you will always be wiser than one of me. And I firmly believe that. It all starts with the selection process where jurors are chosen for a trial. So I wanted to ask everybody some questions. We sat in the gallery and waited for the court clerk to call us up one by one by name. The jurors will then sit in the jury box and be asked questions. Let me do this, let me ask a question of everybody in general. As they get into the jury box, it's as if a light switch comes on and they now start seeing the process. Getting picked for that jury, you really feel like a VIP. You must decide what the facts are in this case only from the evidence you have seen or heard during the trial. So Ms. Kasemi, uh, I think I saw your hand up also when we were talking. I thought it was very enlightening watching how the law works in action. Please raise your right hand. Your job as a juror is the most important one in the courtroom. You and 11 others will be the only ones who determine the truth. Both attorneys on both sides of the case were amazing. It was interesting to see how they battle back and forth a little bit, and, um, and ultimately I believe the truth came out. You'll find that with the great power of being a juror comes great responsibility. It was going to affect not only that person's life, his family, his community, and the ramifications of it would ripple a lot farther than just what happened in the courtroom. How about the other truck? How fast was the other truck going? You know, you feel the sense that you're trying to do justice. And I just really felt great responsibility in making sure that justice was served. If you think trials are dramatic on TV and in the movies, wait until you participate in a real one. What you realize is that this is real. This is not TV. This is not fake drama. This is real drama. And you are part of a process that is going to make a difference in a stranger's life. We all file back into the courtroom. The presiding juror will hand the signed verdict over to the bailiff. There will be a moment of silence while the judge is reading it over before he or she reads the verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the following special verdict on the questions submitted to us. When they read the verdict, it was a very dramatic moment. I think we were all kind of holding our breath. Every time I've spoken to a juror after the trial, they say that I was right, that they are very glad they served. Up to this point, I didn't know the significance of jurors in the system. But after the trial, I could clearly see the necessity of jury service. My words to anyone that's about to participate in the jury process in a jury panel is to recognize how special it is, how important it is to be able to contribute their service, their time, their effort, their patriotism for the fairness and effectiveness for whoever's on trial. I think that, you know, we're so privileged to live in a society where we have a, a right to trial by jury. We are so lucky to have this. If anything happened to me, I would want a jury of my peers helping me out, seeing my story. Embrace it. Go for it. It's, it's interesting. It's educational. It's only a few days out of your life. Just go for it. It's a profound experience. I would say consider jury service as a privilege. Consider jury service as an opportunity to add to and preserve the fabric of your community. Being a juror is about connecting to your neighbors, your community, and your country. It's a chance to participate in our democracy. Because without juries, there's no justice. And there's no justice without you.